What's happening, everybody? So, oil filters. I mean, we've all swapped them out on our cars and trucks, but have you ever wondered how one of these things works? Like, why is it that I've got all these little holes around the outside that you can't see through, and then one big one here that you can see into the filter? Well, what's going on inside of that thing? Well, I took one of these things apart, and I'm going to show you how this thing works. Now, first and foremost, you got to start with how the thing flows the oil both into and out of the case. Well, when you're looking at it, these small holes here, that's actually where the oil goes into the filter under pressure. The big hole here where it screws into the adapter on your engine, that's the return side of the filter. It's how the oil gets back into the engine itself. Now, the reason why you cannot see past these small holes is because it has this inside of it. This is a one-way check valve, and the way that it works is the pressure coming into those smaller holes will just allow the oil to press the sides of this thing down, but it will not allow oil to go back the way that it was coming from. The idea is that once the oil gets into the filter, you want it to be filtered and then through the return. You don't want any backflow to contaminate the engine. And so you have a one-way check valve that keeps that from happening. Now, what about the media itself and how does this whole thing come together and work? Well, the media fits onto the top of that one-way check valve. And in this case, it's actually held in place by a rather powerful spring <laughs> that's attached or rather that is pressing against the backside of this case. And it's actually trying to pop off there pretty good. In fact, when I was taking this thing apart, it kind of popped the backside off. But at any rate, the way that this can work, and you can imagine that the sides of the case are actually holding the pressure in, and that pressure only has one place it can go to get out of here, and that is through the actual media and then out the return. And if you notice inside of there, part of the body of that thing is actually these little cuts right there in that metal. That's where the oil returns into the return side and out. In this case, it's actually in the direction of oil flow, which is kind of neat. Now, there is a bypass valve, and that's what that little spring thing is back there, and that's what that little black dot is right here. In the event that somehow or another there's a, a problem with the media, it gets clogged up, there's some kind of debris or something in there, and it's not allowing enough oil to go through because pressure is building inside the case, this little valve here will pop open and the pressure of the oil itself will cause this valve to pop open. It's again, spring loaded, and it's set to where at a certain oil pressure, this opens and allows oil to bypass the filter media itself and not go through the filter media and out, but actually go through the bypass and then out the return and go back into the engine. Now, that's a pretty intense scenario. That's usually when something has gone really bad, but at least it's trying to keep some amount of oil pressure in the engine. So I wanted to show you guys that Kind of a quick walk through as far as how one of these oil filters work. It's kind of interesting, kind of neat what all is going on inside of this thing. And um, if you've ever wondered the whys or the hows, well, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Post up your comments. Let me know what you think about that. And we'll catch you on the next one. Adios.